and welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a button play audio when pressed with a part or with a GUI. Anyways, make sure to subscribe, leave a like on this video, comment what you'd like me to do if you want to, and don't go around leaving it didn't work because of course this will work. You just have to open your output and it'll show and it'll show you everything that went wrong and then you can tell me in the description below your error and then I can maybe come in and fix it or not fix it I can tell you what's wrong and then you can fix it that way anyways without further ado let's get right into the video so the first thing that you're wanting to, that you're wanting to do is press your view tab and open your output um, oh, there's something wrong with this um, oh, there we go so you're going to have your output open. This is going to like show you every error. You could also like do messages, warnings, error, informative system. So if you don't want system, then you can just like. So pretty much it's like studio. I don't want studio. Anyways, um, you can press this guard button to delete all the outputs you have. This will tell you all your errors. But anyways, how you're going to want to do this is press home, and you're going to want to insert your part. I'm going to create my part and make it nice and even by just setting it to a nice 2x1x2 two by by two, just like this. This is going to be the button that I'm going to press. I'm going to anchor that and turn it to a nice green. Let's find a nice, yeah I like that green. That looks like a nice good green. I'm going to duplicate this and just give it a little stick that it can sort of stand on. So it's a bit more realistic, not just a random floating button. Okay, there we go. I have my button in place, just like this. Next, you're going to want to go into your workspace, press this plus button, create a folder, and rename this to sounds. Inside of the sounds, you're going to want to get a sound, just like this. In here, you're going to have all these settings. Don't mess around with any of this. You just want to worry about sound ID. The sound ID is pretty much what sound's going to play. I'm going to go find a sound here, just in through the sounds. So let's me quickly find one. Um, hmm. Okay, I'm going to use alarm. I like this sound. I like the sound, so I'm just going to insert this. Now, if you're going to be doing it this way, just go open this sound. Oh. So now you'll see this ID. If, you're go if you found your ID through the Roblox platform, you should see it. You should find this ID. If you don't know how to find it, you can just search up a tutorial on how to find the Roblox sound ID. But you'll see a number like this in the link for the in the link at the top of your screen when you're to, when you're at your sound. What you're gonna want to do is just copy that, and I'm gonna delete this since I don't want this. I'm actually gonna use this sound, and I'm just gonna copy it here, and then it should give us that exact same sound, and we can play that sound. Whoops! It didn't even save the sound paste that in there. Did it save now? Nope. Okay. There we go. Now it's saved. This pretty much will show you the time length volume. You can scale up the volume. So let's say I want it to be a bit louder. Let's just go with one. There we go. Here's playing looped. You don't want to turn this on or else. Yeah. It won't work. So I'm going to rename this sound to hmm, let's call this sound beep because that's what the sound is it's a beep okay now inside of our part let's call this button and inside this button we're gonna add in a click detector this can detect if it's gonna click you can change the activation distance how the activation distance works is that each one of these is pretty much equal to one so if I set this to 10 max activation distance of 10 that'll be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so pretty much like that so you have to be standing within a 10 stud range is what these are called in order to press this button you could set this to like a hundred but I like 10 I think that's a nice good range for you to press a button next we're gonna add in a script and inside the script we're just gonna add in some variables like local Sound, I'm going to lowercase that, sound is going to be equal to game.workspace.sounds.b because that's the sound in our folder right here. Next, we're going to go lo 
local. Um, let's go local click. We're going to be defining what this is going to be. It's going to be equal to script dot parent. Oops, script dot parent dot click detector. Now, right here, we're going to skip a line. You don't have to, but it's neater if you skip a line. We're going to go click dot mouse click colon connect function and then right in here you just want to do two brackets and then press the enter button and an automatic end will appear just like this if you've done it right if not you're gonna want to maybe redo this or check right here if you've done anything wrong anyways next what we're gonna do is sound sound colon play this is gonna play the sound when we join the game in here what we can do is if you, if you have like a long sound you don't want to play all the way through you can wait two and then you can go sound colon stop because mine's short I'm not gonna have this you can also pause the sound so it's like if and then you can like go wait one and then sound play there you go so it's like if you want to do something like this I'm not gonna have this so it's like if you want to like stop your sound for a bit and resume it I'm not gonna do that I'm just gonna have sound play those are just examples it's pretty much all you need if you're just gonna have a little sound like I have anyways now let's just go ahead and test out the sound as you can see all oh, this is a bit big as you guys can see the sound is playing and it works super simple will take you maybe like five minutes to code nothing insane anyways now I'm going to be showing you how to do this as a screen GUI. So if you want to have this as a screen GUI, you're going to want to go back into the video and see how you do this. If you're going to have a different sound or if you're just skip through the video, make sure you check out how to do this. So pretty much I showed that later on. I'll show you, I'll leave um, a timestamp in the description to show you how to do that. How to add one of these things. How to add a sound like this. There'll be a timestamp describing exactly where I do that so just go in the timeline and you'll find it anyways I'm gonna go ahead press this screen GUI I'm gonna call this to button button you know no no you know what sound button there we go that looks good you can name this one to whatever you want doesn't really matter I'm just gonna call it sound button now here's the part where you want to like decorate your button and everything. I don't have to decorate this. I'm just gonna make a basic decoration where I'm gonna go find maybe I like that color. You know, mm -hmm. I'm gonna make this color just a bit lighter. Whoops. There we go. I like that one. Now inside of here, let's just go border pixel size three. I'm gonna th make that a bit thicker. I'm gonna turn this to maybe a. Oh, how would that look? Okay, there we go. Maybe I'm going to make this a 5, just make it thicker. Yeah, I like that. And then I'm just going to go change this up. I think high would look nice. Let's just go text scaled. And I'm going to call beep. There we go. Now, inside of this, we're going to go ahead and put in a local script. You should see the difference. A script will be without this little guy on it. A local script will have this guy. So make sure you add in one of these this time. Inside this script what you're going to do is local sound whoops sound will be equal to game dot workspace dot sounds dot beep and then we're going to go and do this again local local click is equal to script dot script dot parent dot text whoops script dot parent dot text script dot parent dot parent or actually no we can just do script dot parent hook is equal to script dot parent and then what we can do is click colon no click dot wait 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 hold on script dot parent dot parent dot text button there we go and then we can do is click click dot click colon wait 
hold on, click. There you go. We have to do mouse button one click. I forgot to add that. Sorry for that. You guys probably got really confused. Anyways, click colon connect, and then we can just do function. There we go. Now, you're going to want to just make sure to add these two brackets, and then you should get this automatic end if you've done it right. And then you can do sound colon play, and then it'll play the sound, and you can do wait to sound. Whoops. Sound colon. Stop. Pause. Whoops. Pause. Pause. And then you can maybe go wait one and then sound. Whoops. Sound colon play. Again, I'm not going to do this. I just want the sound to play. So that should be enough for us. Anyways, if we go play this, as you can see, no errors. If we press this, if we press this, the sound will play like you already seen, and this will also work if we get close enough. As you can see, that's how you make, and that's pretty much the end of this video. Make sure to subscribe. Like again, if you have any errors, don't say it didn't work, it didn't work, or anything weird like that. You're just gonna wanna check this, and if nothing, and it should say like you name something wrong like for example if this is called text by on bato and then as you can see text button is not a valid member of this meaning that you called it wrong and then it'll give you a bunch of errors you can go to you can just search this up in google and it'll probably give you the answer on a, on roblox dev forms but anyways that's gonna that's pretty much it i'm gonna roll the intro now make sure to subscribe